So let's check how the uh, device perform in browsing and gaming and let's take about the some of the benchmark result so i want to first of all uh, hit the cpu z app and show you the internal uh, settings and internal specification so first of all this device is based on the mediatek uh, mt6752 chipset uh, which is a 64 bit enable chipset as per jt said uh, but in Antutu we found that it's running on still in 32 bit platform because it's running on android 4.4.4 as of now uh, but ZT said this device will get Android 5.0 Lollipop update pretty soon. So uh, the frequency is 1.29 GHz, 4 core you can see. And the GPU is Mali T760 GPU. And the graphics result was pretty good. And the, you can see the model name and everything else. And uh, you can see the internal storage, everything. This device support 4.5 inch display, but uh, CPU Z set is 4.09, it's wrong. And the battery is a lithium ion battery, and uh, the temperature is around 34 to 36 degree every time. Uh, and here is uh, only three sensor, which is accelerometer, proximity, and light sensor. There is no gyroscope uh, or compass, etc. Uh, so that's all, guys. Uh, so let's move to the and to the benchmark. Uh, so in 92 benchmark, we already tested uh, the the result is pretty good. We get 29,000 of score, which is pretty high. So let's check it one more time. So I'm gonna skip this uh, benchmarking procedure. I'm gonna come back after the result. So you can see the scores is pretty good. Uh, again, we get a score around 30,000, which is uh, better than Redmi Note, uh, Redmi Note and HTC One also. And it's also uh, uh, beat the Asus Zenfone 5. Uh, the a handset price just 5,000 rupees. So we hope the performance will be pretty good in the gaming segment. Uh, so that's all. Now let's move to another benchmark, which is Quadrant Standard, and let's run the full benchmark. So you can see in Antutu the device score 8,374. Uh, which is again better than HTC One X. So let's uh, skip uh, these things and let's uh, go to Antutu once again and let's check the multi-touch test if we can found or not. So. So you can see this device only support two point multi touch. So that's a pretty bad thing. You have to facing some kind of issue in gaming result, in gaming test. Uh, so that's all. Uh, so let's go to now Vilamo and run the Vilamo benchmark. In the multi-core, the, this device score uh, pretty high 1405, uh, which was better than Moto G first generation, Nexus 4, and many other devices, Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, so, which is pretty cool. Now let's check the browser test, and let's start the browsing test. You can see in uh, Vilamo browser test, uh, this device scored 2285, which is again uh, higher side than uh, LG Nexus 4, HTC One, and Galaxy S3 and Moto G first generation. So that's a pretty good score. And let's let's move to the metal segment and test the metal chapter. So Vilamo metal test is going on. So I'm gonna skip. So in uh, Vilamo metal, this device scored 958 and let's compare it with other device uh, again it's uh, better than HCC one but this time it's lower than no it's uh, again better than nexus uh, 4 and motorola moto g uh, so uh, this device was pretty good score in the vilamo you can see all the score metal chrome browser and multi course test uh, so i'm gonna skip uh, the vilamo right now and gonna skip all those benchmark and let's uh, try some gaming uh, so I'm gonna first of all uh, test the Subway Surfer, which is a basic game. 
hope this device will run this game easily and also I'm gonna let the volume max I can feel a one uh, lag, some kind of lag in starting. Again, I can feel some lag, some screen dot. You will face some issue in the gaming because this device only supports 2 point multi touch. And one more thing, Model Combat 5 is not supported. You are gonna try to install Model Combat 5 and every time it fails. So guys, let's, uh, now let's move to another game. So let's play Asphalt 8. And one more interesting thing, uh, we found that as in Asphalt 8, the graphics level is already set to high, so it's default come with high graphics setting. So I don't want to change the graphics setting right now. Uh, so I'm going to play with the high graphics setting. Uh, so you can see the graphics settings is in high. And one more thing I want to share with you guys, this device uh, uh, also support apps to SD so you can easily move uh, your apps and apps data to SD card. And you can set the default location to SD card also. So let's start the gaming. Now we don't find any issue. Gameplay is pretty smooth as of now.
So that's all guys, uh, we experience Asphalt Rage pretty smooth gaming and uh, many of the 2G RAM device uh, doesn't play Asphalt Rage really so fast. Uh, I love to play Asphalt Rage on this device. Uh, so let's uh, uh, test some browsing. And let's uh, load my blog. So this is my blog, hydrogreview.blogspot.in. So you can visit here and you will get all the latest mobile review update pretty soon and the camera sample also. So the scrolling is uh, fast but not the smoothest. I can experience some lag here and there. It's not the fastest and the pinch to zoom is also okay but the not not the fastest uh, it's uh, not the fastest so it's okay so the browsing experience is okay in this device i'm going to also show you that the apps uh, and apps data will movable to sd card or not so let's go to the app segment and here is the asphalt a you can see we can move the apps and apps data to the sd card so already 1.53 GB of data is in the SD card and now we are moving the app to the SD card, full app. So you can see it's moving this app to the SD card. It will take some time about 1 to uh, one minute to 2 minute but it will move uh, the application to the SD card. Now you can see the apps is moved move to the SD card and you can see here the service of an asphalt aid in the SD card. So that's all guys. This is the quick uh, benchmark and gaming review of the new ZTE Blade Qlux. So I'm going to quickly come about the camera review and the pros and cons review of the ZTE Blade Qlux pretty soon. So stay subscribed and please thumbs up for if you like my video. So this is Shovik Mitro. Hope to see you in my next video.